This demonstration will go through Bentec EZ version 6X. Bentec EZ is designed for the home hobbyist and allows users to create two-dimensional parts. This basically means that bent parts can be set down flat on a surface and nothing will be sticking up in the air. It works really well for those simple parts and can help you get through a basic project with ease. First of all, there are two primary interfaces that can be used to create a part in Bentec EZ. One is template and the other is custom part. We'll start with template. There are hundreds of different templates to choose from, so you can look through these options to find one that looks most like the part you need to design. Once a template is chosen, it can be brought into the part design interface. Next, you basically select the material and die you want to use. Dies are created from either the manufacturer's list or they can be manually customized. To design a part and template, we simply enter the sizes or dimensions into the fields. Once all these values are given, the software will generate the cut length, bend locations, and bend angles to create this part. That's just one interface style. The other one is called Custom Part. In this interface, you select up to six bends, enter the length of each section of tube, and enter a bend angle. These values are given for each bend as well as a length for the end of the part. So you can see this is the part we just designed. And up here you can find the cut length, bend locations, and the bend angles. We can also do 180 degree rotation here and the last bend will be bent the opposite direction. So those are the two different ways to create parts with Bentec EZ. Again, one is the template where parts are designed using predefined shapes and the second one is the custom part designer you see here. Also, we do have a tube and pipe library. Within this library, you create your own tube and pipes. In Bentec EZ, round is the only type you can use. Square and rectangle are available in higher level products. Materials are given a name, a weight per unit, a wall thickness, outside diameter, and a color. We'll also take a look at the die library. The die library allows users to create a die size and to calibrate a die or choose one from the manufacturer's list. To calibrate a die, you cut a piece of material, mark it a certain distance back, line that mark up with the leading edge or strap of your die, and bend it to 90 degrees. You measure the two legs of the resulting part and enter in these values. By doing this, the software can figure out how much the material stretched, as well as where the bend starts on your die. This will allow the software to come up with the correct bend locations and amount of material needed to create the part. 